Good morning, everybody. I wanted to do a quick video around CBIT and basically some tips that you can do in order to give yourself the best chance to be able to feed your animals and water your gardens. Um, one of the biggest struggles that I'm seeing in the Discord is there's a lot of people that are having trouble balancing it out and getting the, the amount of CBIT they need daily in order to feed their animals. Um, they're struggling because they don't know how to do it. There's a lot of complaints of what, essentially, what exactly do we need to do? Um, just a quick explanation. I know I have a full other video about this, so I'll go ahead and do this quickly. Um, what you need is you need enough cest staked in order to get enough CBIT daily. So if you don't have enough cest staked, you will not get the seed that you need, so you will not be able to feed your animals and continue to build that cest. So there are a number of things that you can do to correct this and feed your animals uh, if you're currently having a shortage of seabit. The first and most obvious one is, and this is the one that I, I recommend the least, is just go straight out there to the Alcor market and buy some seabit. Say you need 10 seabit for the day, Go out here and basically buy it. I don't recommend this because you are not getting yourself self-sufficient, but you are covering a need in order to feed. And you may need to do this for, for a little bit until uh, you can actually feed your animals if you want to build up the cest. The other option out there, uh, which is pretty straightforward, is instead of buying CBIT, buy some cest and build up your, your staking. Go out here, buy a chunk of it. It's pretty cheap right now compared to how it's been over the last few uh, few days. You see it's dropped down a little bit, so buy some up. I bought some up earlier today. Uh, and then just go right back over to the game and stake it. Uh, this could take some time. You may have to go a few days where you don't harvest as much as you want to. Um, but just take everything you can, all the available wax you have, and then all of the, the, the cest that you earn, put it in cest, and go ahead and stake it, and that'll build it up. Um, so those are the two straightforward approaches in order to get the, the cest that you need. The other option is basically don't harvest for a short amount of time. Any cest that you build, go back over to the Alcor market, and if you're if you go to this screen and you type in Cbit, uh, you'll have the option here of transitioning Cbit directly to Cest. So you can take the Cbit that you earn for the day, withdraw it. Remember, when you withdraw it from the game, there is a two percent fee. So be aware of that. Uh, but you can go right here, and if you're lucky and you can get a good rate. You can basically transition, say I, you saw from the other screen, I get about 84 a day currently, or I think 82, sorry, 82 a day. What I can do is for the next week is trans transition that directly into um, CEST and build up my, my overall um, CEST. What you'll wanna do is take a look at these three options, which one's most more cost efficient and go that route. Just remember every time, every day that passes, other people are also adding to that staking pool. So if you go here and you'll, and you keep an eye on this, if you don't add any cest over a period of a week, your, the amount of the pool that you own, the percentage right here, the cest percent pool held will go down, which means you'll get less cest throughout the time frame. Um, so keep that in mind. What happens if you don't have the wax and, and you don't have the time, uh, but you want to try and build up your cest as quickly as possible now? Um, what you, One of the options that you could do is you could go through the NFTs that you currently have and, and identify which ones are least profitable and which ones are most profitable. And those that are least profitable are you basically using more more cest than you can, or more, sorry, more CBIT than you can allow, then go ahead and unstake those and stop harvesting those. Um, I had to do that for gardens. 
essentially gardens right now are my least profitable and they were actually hurting me. Um, if you go out to the Discord, the, the game chat, and you go up here to the pins, um, Bruce actually put together a uh, spreadsheet that if you click on that, I already have it open. What you'll want to do is you'll want to save it, save your own copy to your own, and then fill out these blue blue sections here. Decide whether you have a, a silo, a common, rare, or epic. Uh, then go ahead through here and put how many animals and, and geese you have. And then it's going to calculate everything for you. Also include how much seabit uh, you get a day. From my example, it would be 82. Um, and this will calculate whether you're going to be making enough or not and what adjustments you have to make. And then what you can go through and do is take a look at these and really see where it's bogging you down. For, like I said, for me, it was the, um, the gardens. I have four common gardens. Once I pulled those or I unstaked those, um, I saved myself almost 20 seabed a day. So those, those, those four were really hurting my overall production. So I unstaked those for now. Um, I'll go ahead and put the disclaimer here is I, tr this is my personal opinion, uh, not financial advice. Um, I think gardens are going to be extremely important when new wax tester comes out. That's why I ended up buying a few of them when they were uh, lower priced. Um, but right now, between now and when new wax tester comes out and you can adjust what, what actual vegetables and plants you put in there, um, they're not as they're not very profitable, and they eat up a lot of your your seabed. Why not? And also have one of the lowest outputs as far as zest goes. So I unstaked those, improved my my overall um, production. Um, so that helped out quite a bit for me. So if I go over here, you'll see I actually have right now uh, they were lined up here. If you remember from previous videos, I actually went ahead and unstaked these for, for the time being. Once new extra comes out and we have the, the ability to change the types of, uh, of plants we put in there, I'll go ahead and put those right back in. The last tip that I have, and this is probably one, actually two tips. This is going to be two tips in one. Um, if you currently have a common silo or a common um, water tower, I would highly recommend upgrading. If you have common, they're pretty cheap right now on the secondary market on Atomic Hub. Uh, you can go ahead and let's actually quick jump over here. I'm going to jump back over to the Discord if you haven't seen this page yet. Again, we are in the game chat pins. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a link here for ROI calculator. I believe this is currently being updated. Uh, based on the, the CBIP, but at least gives you an idea of, of the cost of things pretty quickly. So if you currently only have common water towers, sorry for the scrolling, there it is, uh, a common silo and common water towers, I would highly recommend putting some wax in there and upgrading to rares. If you can afford the epics, that's even better because essentially you're going from 100 food per common silo to 150 for the rare and 200 for the epic. That means if you jump from a common to an epic, you cut your CBIT costs in half that quickly. Um, same with the water tower. It's a little cheaper for a rare water tower right now um, and for an epic. So if you can afford those, um, I would highly recommend doing that because essentially if you go from a commons to epics for both, you drastically cut your seabed, and that allows you to have, you'll need less cest in there. So that is a big one if you have the wax to pay for it. Another big one if you have the wax to pay for it is your animals. Upgrading your animals from commons to rares or to epics does the exact same effect. Um, I am in the process right now, I had 22 common geese I'm in the process of upgrading those to rares. Um, basically, what will happen is for 22, I'll chop my uh, seabed in half for those, those geese. 
I'm not quite to the point where I can afford jumping up to the epics, uh, but that would that would basically cut it down even more if I can jump from commons to epics. Um, but just from a price perspective, I'm okay jumping to rares because that's gonna. I think I had uh, a CBIC consumption of 112 when I started this process. By the time I'm done with it, I'll be under 80 CBIC just by converting my, my geese over to from commons to rares. So that's a big thing. I know there's a talk of blending down the road. Basically, if you have uh, two commons, you'll be able to, with the addition of some cest, you'll be able to blend it to a rare. Or I think it's if you have five commons with addition of some cest, you'll be able to blend them to um, an epic. So what I've done is I'm going to hold on to a lot of my geese, my common geese. Um, the goal is by the, between now and when blending comes available, I want to buy uh, 11 rares and then blend the, re the rest of my commons to fill up so I have 22 rare geese. So that, that's my goal for farming tails over the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know when blending is going to be available, uh, but they did say, Bruce had mentioned it's a, a quick change in the coding, but it all depends where it falls in the priorities because there's some higher priorities, uh, I'm assuming, before blending. And that's also something you can take a look at for other animals. If you have a whole bunch of, say, common pigs, in the future, you'll be able to blend them to rares and, and epics. Um, doesn't that, I don't believe that counts for buildings yet. I don't think they're doing the blending for buildings, uh, but only animals. So just to recap, um, some of the major tips in order to get your CBIT. I, I know I'm rambling here, so let's go ahead and recap. Uh, first three are buy more CBIT as a very short-term solution or you can buy more cest to build up your overall quota, not quota, but your staked amount um, of, of cest. So you earn daily more CBITs. That's the main things, uh, at least the straightforward approach. The other things is go out to the spreadsheet. Uh, there it is. Go out to the spreadsheet, calculate up what your current animals are, find the weak links, find the, the non-profitable ones, unstake them. You can even sell them. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I'd recommend that. It all depends on your situation. Um, if, if you sell them, you can use the wax and get cessed. Um, not sure I would recommend. I wouldn't do that personally because I think down the road uh, they're all going to be useful, but it all depends on your situation. And then last but not least, if you have uh, the wax or, or budget i would upgrade your silos your water towers and your animals to higher rarities because uh, that'll make them more efficient and you'll lose use a whole lot less cbit you'll still get the same production um, of zest but you'll use less cbit so those are the tips i hope they're helpful um, if you have any tips from your side uh, please feel free to add it to uh, the comments below uh, any tips will help people out um, so thank you very much for your time. And if you like this kind of video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.